If you've stumbled across this video and you are a part of our Monday night Bible study, please keep scrolling. Okay, great. Now that they're gone, <laughs> because listen, I'll be sharing this <laughs> tomorrow night in our Monday night Bible study. Um, so our word for our word study tomorrow is sign. And I actually bought the wrong book, but I'm going to just keep it. It's by Jeff Benner. Um, he does a lot of like paleo Hebrew studies and things like that. So during our word study, the very first thing that we are to do is we're looking for the definition, right? So I just want to check to see if sign was in the Brenner, the Benner. I don't know why I want to keep calling him Brenner, but the Benner book. So it's number three, 397 here. So it gives a definition. The cool thing that I'll focus on. The Paleo Hebrew symbols. Um, it's cross Y bullhead, right? Cross Y bullhead. And I cannot remember, but I want to say you read from left to right. So cross, what is it? Cross Y bullhead. So it would be. If I look here, now again, I got this from Assembly of Yahuwah. You could print this out for free. Cross, cross, mark two crossed sticks. Then it says the meaning, mark, sign, covenant, signature, a monument. What was next? The Y, where is the Y? There's the Y, okay. Well, it looks like a Y. Tent, it's a tent peg, but what does it mean? To add, to secure, hook. It's a nail, a peg. Some, it says and. And the last one, the bullhead, or it's the ox head. It means ox strength leader. So a strength, a strong leader, right? A strong leader, something of strength, someone of strength, a leader, was given a nail, had a nail, was secure somewhere. There was a hook involved with this strong leader. And in all of that, it was, it was a mark, mark. And the other thing in his book, like what really made me just be like, yo, that is, it says it's a motion gesture or mark representing an agreement between two parties, a wondrous or miraculous sign. So it's like going all loud again, paleo Hebrew is way, way back when they were just using symbols, not words, symbols. Is Christ not a sign? Is the crucifixion not a sign? Do y'all see that? Like, do you, do, can you, can you uh, understand like what I'm trying to say? Like I'm, I'm <laughs> my words are getting jumbled up. The cross, the Y symbol and the ox head. 